YouTube, it's just Brandy, and let's talk Black Ink Crew Chicago. So last night was the season finale of Black Ink Crew Chicago, and it was the reveal of Ryan's new shop and what was going to happen with the old shop. So when it started, um, four called everybody um, from the old crew, Charmaine, um, Charmaine, Van, and um, Don, I don't think Junior was there, but Junior might have been there too, um, to come into the studio because he's working on his album and he made a new song dedicated to everybody just to show his gratitude for them being for him in the situation in Las Vegas uh, because he indicated that he had made up his mind that he was really going to commit suicide and it was them and their concern and their um, you know sitting with him and talking to him and let him know how much he was wanted and needed and loved um, that stopped him from committing that serious act so he played the song for them you know whatever whatever and Ryan lets everybody know he has a surprise for everybody um, they don't know they show clips where um, he you know wouldn't let anybody see the shop like it's in the same building that they're in but but the doors were closed they don't know what's going on um, VH1 show posts that he had been posting on Instagram showing you know the new the new space is huge um, so he ends up having a opening um, a grand opening party as they do per black ink style they have you know this party or whatever so he has his party um everybody's invited to the party they bring every they bring in new artists now at this point the old crew doesn't know anything about these new artists they they don't know what's going on but ryan has hired all these people so they announced the new crew they all marching it's like um a lot of them it's like eight ten of the mugs then Ryan comes in with his pimp hair. He had the roller set. Um, I'm not a fan of the roller set. He has beautiful hair, but I just something about that um, male roller set look. It just don't do it for me. So, you know, everybody is still confused. Like, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Then who shows up? Rachel, Ryan's ex slash baby mama. So she comes and they seem real friendly buddy buddy so bella asks like are y'all back together like what's going on because they they take pictures together like she up she throwing glitter like they real buddy buddy so they avoid the question they avoid the questions and i know currently because Ryan did an interview on hollywood unlocked uncensored and stated that they are not together but i don't know if during that time they might have had a mini reconciliation they have one of those type of relationships where they own again off again own again off again so they might have been on but they are currently off so um who knows what was going on at that particular period in time um ryan did indicate that at this time he is not going to allow vh1 to film um, but the other shop will remain open, which they do have to have something to film. So it's going to be separate two nine mags in the same building, one where they film, one where it's just um, tattooing. And he said that Van basically could have that shop. So Van's going to run that shop and be the manager of that shop, you know, and control everything that goes on in that shop, which I think is good. Um, the only other thing was uh, Charmaine said she wanted to expand her brand. She was talking to Nick Bay. And he said he thought that she should have an app and he told her it would cost her thirty to fifty thousand dollars to do the app. And she was like, But boo, like you this what you do. So, you know, like, ain't you gonna do it for me? He was like, You don't want anybody to give it to you. You you wanna get it the right way because you wouldn't want nobody holding nothing over you. No, I want it for free. I don't want to come out of pocket no thirty or fifty. Or you can come out of pocket thirty or fifty. So she she um, you know, cooked some dinner, was like rubbing his feet was about to have sex with him and then she presented him with some invoices like um since we invoicing people or whatever here go these invoices for these services that i provide which he promptly ripped up but i feel her like i've been like she said she been fucking and sucking for three years and she ain't charged the dime uh and cooking every day and washing clothes and now you talking about you want 30 to fifty thousand. he was like but i got a staff well you know what you don't have to use your staff because i believe you can do it on your own 
do it as a side project okay so that was the season finale of black ink crew chicago um i think this was a pretty good season i'm glad to see that everybody was able to come back together this season um last season you know it was a lot of drama um i think with lily being gone everything will be good um the other one that i think needs to go is bella and then that girl that ryan we haven't seen her in a while the girl that ryan brought in to be the manager of the shop that he before i don't remember even remember what her name was but she's been mia ever since um he had made don the manager at the time um but she needs to go bella needs to go um charmaine's not really there like she don't really do anything now pair she's just there to be filmed but um i think that with just junior don van and four in the shop it's a small shop anyway that's really all they have room for in that space i think with just them in there it'll be a, um, a peaceful place and everybody be able to get along um and and that's that's really all that it should be so that's my recap of the season finale of black and crew chicago i will see you next week for black ink crew and see what's going on with caesar um they did show an extended preview and duchess is coming back and she said something like i love you i don't know what's going on but i cannot wait to find out they have me at duchess is coming so <laughs> i see you